Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel. Wow. Trump quadruples Obama's record and destroys Barack's legacy today. It's safe to say President Trump has been one of the most effective presidents in history. Don't believe me? Then you haven't been paying attention. The left has been distracted by Russian scandals. They melt down every time Trump tweets. Meanwhile, he's been transforming the United States. President Trump has done more in his first year than most presidents. He's certainly accomplished more than Obama. At the end of Obama's first year, the nation still suffered from the Great Recession. Today, the stock market sets record after record. Our economy beats expectations. Unemployment is down. Jobs are surging into the country. But there is another amazing achievement. One that simply destroys Obama's record. And the left is all but ignoring it. From Axios. Senate Republicans on Thursday confirmed President Donald Trump's 12th Federal Appeals Court nominee, setting a record for the most circuit court picks confirmed in a president's first year. Why this matters, the federal courts carry significant weight in almost every area of policy, gun rights, executive power, LGBT rights, freedom of religion, etc., and have blocked multiple Trump initiatives in his first year. Trump's picks of young, conservatives' judges for the lifetime appointments will far outlast his presidency. Former President Barack Obama successfully appointed three appeals court judges in his first year in office in 2009, as well as Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. His predecessor, George W. Bush, got six confirmed. President Trump has appointed four times as many judges than Obama. Why is this so important? These judges will serve for a lifetime. That's at least 30 years, or more. They will decide crucial matters that affect every one of us. And they're all conservatives. Smart Democrats are deeply concerned about this trend, and understand that these lifetime judicial appointments will have a much greater impact on the future direction of this country than any short-term spending deal or policy. Yup. Yeah. At best, Trump will be president for eight years. But the men and women he appoints as judges will continue. The people he is picking are strong constitutionalists. They won't rule in favor of radical liberal policies. That means they will oppose gun control and abortion.